What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to talk to you a bit about the top 200 here and the squad players. What the difference is, what each category is eligible for in terms of dividends and basically just a bit of an overview about both. So the top 200 are, it's pretty literal as per the heading, it's the top 200 most expensive players. So at the moment Neymar being £15.72 per future is the most expensive if we go over to the lowest price filter, we will find that Abu Diallo is the cheapest player in the top 200. And basically, what being in the top 200 means is that you are eligible to win media day dividends or media buzz, as a lot of people like to call it. So what happens is... If you are the cheapest or one of the cheapest players and you become cheaper than the highest priced player in the squad, you are then relegated to the squad. And this happens after midnight every day. And whoever is top of the squad or more expensive than the cheapest player in the top 200 goes up into the top 200. So if someone is quite cheap but has some transfer rumours and... Um, suddenly gets linked with some English players and gets into the press a bit and uh, has a chance of winning media buzz, people might push him into the top 200. But players in the squad, they are eligible to win only performance buzz or match day dividends, whereas people in the top 200 are eligible to win both. So that is essentially the only difference. Uh, but you will find the highest dividends returners at the top of the charts in the top 200. I uh, hope that helps and yeah, keep an eye out for more videos on the free super tips channel and you can check me out at underscore FI guide on Twitter. Thanks very much for watching.